Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade plexiglass cutter. It's a very simple construction. Power button, battery, uh, some 2x2 two two pieces of wood as a frame, some wiring, and nichrome wire. Okay. I'm turning off the light to show you how quickly this element here can turn red hot. So here we go. We ready? There we go. Only take like two seconds. And these are the things that I've been cutting uh, around disc. This one is like a Saturn ring. So these are the two by two pieces that I've cut to size. This one here is uh, 6 inches long. This one here is 15 inches. Okay. And then I've cut this so that it will uh, support the structure better. And that's it. So I'm just going to nail them all together. And that should be it. All right, so I just put everything together by screws. I know it's pretty simple, isn't it? I've got a 30 amp switch, and this switch should be able to handle the current generated by the batteries. I drill a hole in the wood, and uh, right on the handle. So I can uh, install my switch on, like so, push through the hole, okay, and I can hold the, the handle and press on the switch, just like a, a gun, like so. There's a nut on this side, so I just have to secure it on here, like so and it will hold the switch in place and next I'm gonna install my battery in here and uh, should be good to go alright so I think I'm done here let me show you what I got I got a 1S2P battery pack this is two cells in parallel the negative wire go to the bottom that's the white wire up here through this hole go out to my alligator clip the positive terminal is up here up, up the red wire through this hole out to my switch and the other side of the switch go up through back through the hole and go through this hole also go out to my alligator clip so if I press this button will complete the circuit and will hit up the wire if I clip the wire uh, to my alligator clips. So let's try it. I made a small coil right in the middle here on this side and on the other side and uh, it's just for my uh, alligator clip to reach if I want to go further a little bit or I want to go back a little bit so it can uh, it can reach further or it can go backward so it, it can be more flexible but uh, other than that it doesn't serve any other purposes so far this project has a steep learning curve and I have learned a lot from it first of all to power this device you will need a high discharge battery pack I'm using 18650 lithium ion cells salvaged from a power tool battery these cells have very high discharge rate and are capable of handling large current. In this case, about 20 amps each. At the beginning, I used two cells, but after a trial run, they only have enough power to cut through about half of my circle, which is about 35 inches in distance. So I upgrade my battery pack to a six cells pack with all six cells connected in parallel. This pack can cut through about 150 inches of plexiglass 
of 2 mm thick. For cutting the wire, the first thing you need is a spring. This spring will create a tension in your wire and keep your cutting wire nice and tight and straight so you can easily control the cut. That's because when you heat up the wire, it will expand and without the tension being pulled by the spring, it will sag and get loose. That will make it hard to control your cut. For the actual cutting wire, at the beginning I use a guitar string, but it does not work very well. The guitar string is just a regular steel wire. It turns red hot immediately and it snaps in half after just a couple of seconds after I turn it on. So I go ahead and upgrade to a thick steel wire pulled out of a steel rope. This steel wire is over 1mm thick and it works ok for a while. I was able to cut half of the 19 inch diameter circle. However, there's a few setbacks using this steel wire. Number one, it consumes a lot of power. It depletes the two cell battery pack after just cutting 35 inches of plexiglass. Number two, because it's very thick and very hot, it burns through the plexiglass and produces a lot of toxic fume. I have to use a fan running on maximum speed to blow the toxic fume away. Even that is not able to blow all the fumes away because it's a lot heavier than air, so it sinks back down so I keep inhaling the toxic fume. And yes, I'm, I'm outside in a well-ventilated place. Setback number 3 of using this wire is even though it's thick, it's just a regular steel wire so it gets oxidized very easily. After a while, it would just get weakened by the oxidation and it snaps in half again, despite the fact that it's more than 1 millimeter thick. So I have to rethink my strategy and come up with a wire that is more durable than this wire. It also has to be thinner so that it does not consume too much power and at the same time not too hot to burn the plexus glass and produce toxic fume. And suddenly I remember I have a broken hair dryer. Inside it there's a coil of heating element. So maybe I can use this element for my cutting wire. So I pull the heating element out of the hair dryer, straighten it and make a simple strand cutting wire. I uh, tried it and it only consumed about 4 amps. The previous 1 mm thick steel wire consumes more than 20 amps, sometimes goes up to 30 amps, continuous. So this is a great improvement. It consumes a lot less power. I tried to cut the plexiglass with this new wire. It works fine, but after about 10 inches, it snaps again. And because it's thin, the plexiglass is melted and then fuse back together easily because the uh, the cut only has a very small gap. So I go ahead and double up the strand and twist the two strands together to form a single strand twice as thick. There's a few more advantages using a thicker wire this time. Number one, it consumes more power, so it can cut through the plexiglass faster. It consumes about 8 amp, which is exactly twice the power of the single strand. Number two is physically bigger, so when it cuts through the plexiglass, it creates a bigger gap and hence makes it harder for the melted material to fuse back together. That means it will be easier to be separated afterwards. Number three, even though it's a double strand wire, it's not too powerful to burn the wire and create toxic fume. So it's a lot easier on my lung than the previous one millimeter thick steel wire. Number four, and also the most important thing that makes my project finally successful, that this is a lot more durable and does not break easily. I'm able to cut through the whole circle in one piece, and I'm sure it will last quite a while. The reason why this wire is more durable than start standard steel wire is because it's a nichrome wire, which is an alloy of 80% nickel and 20% chrome. When the wire is heated up, the chrome will be oxidized to become chrome oxide and coat the outer layer of the wire to prevent further oxidation on the inside of the wire. Less oxidation will cause less damage to the wire and that's why it lasts longer under intense heat. 
With my two alligator clips moving independently, I can adjust the cutting power by adjusting the distance between them. To increase power, I put them closer together. That way, it will consume more power, get much harder, and I can cut through thicker plexiglass. To reduce the power, I put them far apart and they will consume much less power and get less hot. This is good for cutting very thin plastic or foam. The best way to cut through plexiglass with this nichrome wire is to move the plexiglass up and down or you can move the uh, nichrome wire up and down. Uh, if you just keep it in one place and try to move the plexiglass against the wire, only the part touching the wire is being used and the rest of the wire which is very hot but it's not being used. That's not very efficient. So by moving it up and down just like a saw blade in a jigsaw, you can utilize all the heat in the wire more efficiently. There you have it. A homemade plexiglass cutter. Very simple and easy to make. Just some spare scrap wood, a couple batteries, actually six batteries, uh, a power button, some wiring, and a nichrome wire. And um, you can easily cut into any shapes that you want. I have cut my plexiglass into some cool shapes for, for my next project. Stay tuned as I have some very interesting projects coming up for these plexiglass pieces. And I'll see you next time.